It is the 19th of the 7th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. We're going to go ahead and start on the extinction protocol today. Violent midnight storm on Lake Michigan generates six foot waves, killing two sailors. Uh, a couple sailors died when the 35 set foot sailboat collapsed in a storm while six crew members were pulled from Lake Michigan by another boat competing in the an annual race to uh, McKinnock, the Coast Guard said on Monday. Uh, the midnight storm generated four to six foot waves and wing nuts. A boat registered in Sigshaw, Michigan capsized and issued a distress signal. Um, just extreme waves and that's usually something uh, the big storms rolling down the lakes uh, in the winter time it's like a November gale thing tornado force winds topple stage at Ottawa concert and uh, yeah this was the cheap trick concert that they were showing videos on all day where the entire big stage just got blown away uh, by this thunderstorm that rolled through <clears throat> and they're seeing um, the two people suffered non-life-threatening injuries, and uh, the band members got off the stage okay. A microburst. Searing heat in northwestern Ontario goes up in flames. And uh, Canada, dozens of wildfires raged across much of northwestern Ontario on the weekend as hot, dry weather swept the province, leaving forest tinder dry. And uh, there are a lot of fires reporting up in Canada right now. Actually, there's some major fires burning all over the planet. I might just do one of those uh, As the World Burns videos again and uh, show you just how much fire is going on today. Nature's new destructive force, sudden cloudbursts create havoc across the globe. Now these are these storms that just come out of nowhere and pound you. Uh, Scotland, a flash flood created havoc for residents and businesses in Perth by turning streets into rivers. About a foot of water collected in some places around East Bridge Street during the, the one-hour downpour. Now, the flash flood happened between 1300 BST and 1400 and was followed by thunder and lightning. Uh, Chris McCulloch, 44, said, I've never seen rain like it in Scotland. All the streets were coming down off the hill and turned into streams. Um, he also told BBC News Scotland website he was trying to pick his 11-year-old daughter up from a friend's house and she got soaked from head to foot. It was absolute downpour, he said. The water was going into the flat and I couldn't get down to her because the stairs down to the flat turned into a river. It was raining that hard. Cherokee, North Carolina. Thousands of fish were killed when a wall of water swept through the Cherokee fish hatchery. The flash flood was wa washed many of the young trout out of the raceway uh, where they were being raised as well as taking down about 75 feet of fence surrounding the facility. Uh, the hatchery supervisor said the, that the hatchery has about 800,000 fish at any one given time. New Brighton, Minnesota. The flash flood that hit areas of the metro Saturday morning caused headaches for many residents just waking up. Many of the first floor residents are now displaced at Mirror Lake Condominiums in St. Anthony res Residence. Uh, says the water kept flowing into her apartment and nearly reached the height of her knees. And these are just these big downbursts. Manila, Philippines. A five-year-old went missing after being swept away by heavy current in a flash flood incident. <clears throat> uh, because they're having uh, these big downbursts rains, this huge downbursts of uh, extreme amounts of water all at once. Parts of Croatia devastated by wildfires. And again, they've got the RT video out on that. And double explosive eruption shakes Mount Lacon volcano. Um, an Indonesian volcano erupted twice on Monday following its biggest eruption in weeks over the weekend. So here it is, the same volcano is just having some major eruptions. It's one of, uh, I, I believe, 129 active volcanoes in the region. And again, along the Ring of Fire. Iceland and Philippine volcanoes shaken by earthquakes. Uh, out of Manila, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology said the quakes rocked the Tal volcano in uh, western 
Visayas on Monday. Magnitude 5 quake jolted uh, a week, uh, nearly a week after a 6.2 quake hit. So Tal's definitely gearing up. And uh, Iceland small earthquake swarm also detected under Katla. Uh, the swarm was led by the most powerful earthquake in a series which measured a 3.8 and occurred at the shallow depth of about a kilometer below the volcano. Activity has been increasing at the volcano over the last two weeks. Katla is definitely gearing up and if Katla goes, um, here comes winter. Climate mayhem, bleeding of the seasons reported in Bangladesh. Now listen to this. Uh, Bangladesh lengths of winter and summer and rainy seasons in Bangladesh have increased while spring has decreased. Changes that are likely to have an adverse impact on agriculture, said a study based on farmers' uh, perceptions. Winter traditionally around two and a half months long now prevails for three and three quarters. While summer takes five months almost double the past usual length. So again, spring and fall are going away to uh, from harsh winter straight to harsh summer. And over to earthchangescott.net <clears throat> Let me get back up to the top of the page here. Giant's dust storm moves through Phoenix, Arizona area again. A giant wall of dust rolled through the Phoenix area on Monday, turning sky brown, creating dangerous driving conditions and delaying some airline flights. Uh, the dust, also known as a uh, haboob in the Arab Arabic and around Arizona, formed a uh, Pinal County and is headed northeast, reaching Phoenix around 5:30 p.m. And again, they got some traumatic pictures, and I'm sure we can find some good video to show you, too. Uh, U.S. heat wave hardest on nation's poorest communities. And again, um, there's stories coming out of Texas where uh, people are, you know, getting evicted, and they got really no place to go, and their shanty little towns are, you know, 110 degrees, and... It was a 116 degree heat index, I believe it got to here in Des Moines, Iowa today. Uh, it's a 100 degree heat index up till midnight uh, on the 18th, as uh, our local weather has been telling us. And uh, it doesn't seem like there's any relief in sight till at least Friday. Eight dead in northeast Brazil floods from mudslides. Torrential rains drenching the northeast Brazilian state caused at least eight deaths, mostly people carried away in mudslides, civil defense officials said on Monday. Scotland hit by floods after 24 hours of torrential rain and thunderstorms. Now this is the big story I was telling you about before about the guy and he couldn't get to his daughter because uh, the stairs to his flat would turn into a river. Flash flooding caused misery across Saturday. Uh, across Scotland yesterday, homes were hit as streets turned into rivers after more than 24 hours of torrential rainfall and thunderstorms. U.S. How hot is it? Triple-digit heat buckles roads in Oklahoma. Now it's hot. Poultry farmers deploy fans heat wave to reach East Coast later this week. And if you haven't experienced this heat yet, you're not going to look forward to it one little bit. <clears throat> And uh, again, here in Iowa, we pretty much took the brunt of it today. Uh, here's an environmental warning. World War II shipwrecks could threaten the United States coast. And they're talking about um, how the Germans were off the coast of the United States for a year, and they were sinking some of these tankers, and now they're starting to row, and the tanks are leaking, and it can cause... Um, some ecological damage along the coast of the United States, our fishing grounds and whatnot, on top of the Corexit and uh, the big leak in the Gulf of Mexico, eh? U.S. Oklahoma hit by relentless heat wave. And again, it's, uh, it's ongoing. The governor of Oklahoma has asked for divine intervention and called for a day of prayer as the relentless heat wave breaks the central part of the United States. Insane. British Petroleum reports a new pipeline pipe leak in Lisbon oil field in Alaska. 
So here we go with BP yet again. The latest leak is likely to do nothing to mend the oil giant's reputation in the United States after 2010 Deepwater Horizon disaster. Everybody remember that? Still enjoying your Gulf seafood? Beautiful. Pacific-based earthquake triggers in the spotlight, and they're talking about the, the quake storms running down uh, Mexico. And there are volcanoes down in that area, and of course the double eruption at the Indonesian volcano. And over to the RSOE, they've got some things. Of course, um, the volcano activity, the three different volcanoes in Iceland. Uh, Vanuatu, of course, and uh, Mount Lacan volcano, forest fires in Spain, Canada, uh, they've got the, the dust storm in Phoenix, flooding in India, uh, the Blackfeet Indian Reservation had an oil pipeline uh, break as well, it's long, it's uh, like 350 miles away from the, the Yellow River pipeline leak, you remember we're 42,000 barrels of Exxon's oil went down the Yellow River. Um, this is on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation. They're saying it's not quite as bad as the other leak, but uh, definitely due to flooding where erosion has uh, taken out these pipes and uh, created, you know, breaking the pipes and making leaks. Uh, flash floods in Mexico, uh, Canada's power outage due to severe weather, and Da, da, da. Well, of course, and then the, the, the meteor that hit out in Kenya, uh, they're saying, um, but I really haven't seen any films or other stories on that, so let's hope it was an asteroid and not uh, somebody's satellite that the Kenyans now have down there. And of course, we have the, the Mayan um, typhoon, it's, uh, she's a category one typhoon right now, um, definitely hitting the coast of Japan. I just think it's kind of funny the way they've got it shooting straight out away from Japan and then up and around instead of rolling up the island like uh, hurricanes normally do. Um, we'll see what she really does and uh, it's not good news for anybody in Japan at all. And again, she's heading right over that contaminated water uh, that nobody seems to be reporting about. Uh, we have Tropical Depression Brent right now off the east coast of Florida, heading north and out to sea. And uh, Tropical Depression Dora off the coast, off the west coast of Mexico, heading up north um, and out to sea. But she is strengthening. So that is about all I have for you climate change wise tonight. Uh, I'm going to start a, another series uh, based on um, what's going on with uh, the nuclear industry and uh, how that affects us. Uh, we'll see what I call it. Until um, I see you again, enjoy while you can, and thanks everybody for your help. I appreciate it.